the forest is full of surprises. You can build huts, find treasures, come across animals. It even produces renewable energy. In France, forests are twice as big and four times denser than in the mid-19th century. In other words, today there is twice as much forest to enjoy a walk in. And apart from a walk, forests can also be a source of furniture, paper, houses and even produce energy. This is called wood fuel, logically enough. And to do all this, only half of the forest's extra growth is used. As you might expect, since otherwise we wouldn't call it renewable energy. And wood is the biggest source of renewable energy in France. How does it work? It's very simple. They take all the wood that is not used in the timber industry, branches, pruning waste or recycled wood. In short, all the wood that had no other use until now. It's like when you make a piece of furniture. There are always bits left over that you don't need. Except that in this case, they are used to produce energy. All this wood is made into wood chips that are taken to a boiler. Here the wood is burnt, producing heat. The heat is then used to keep schools, offices, hospitals and houses warm. Moreover, wood fuel has a neutral carbon footprint. This means that when burnt, it only emits the same amount of carbon as it stored up during its growth. Practical, don't you think? Ash can even be used as fertilizer in fields. Nothing is lost, everything is transformed. This is the circular economy. Wood fuel is a solution for the future. By making use of a local source of energy, it helps building smarter and more sustainable cities. And with the help of forests, we can even produce electricity. You might be watching this video thanks to wood fuel.